Hey, what's up guys? John here from the Reaper vlog. In this video, we'll be looking at the limit project length option in project settings. First, let me show you why we need to look at this. So here's a big project here. It's a full song and we can zoom out. And even though the song ends at three minutes, we could continue zooming out. And now we're up to 87 hours. So for some people, that's a pretty big problem. Now there is an action called zoom out project and in the action list I've got that assigned to option A but when we run that action that will zoom in or out the entire project to fit it to your monitor's view let's uh let's just verify that here shrink the window run that and it shrinks it to the visible area of your project now there is a problem with that action if we do it in a empty project. So here's an unsafe project that I've got my cursor right at bar one. If I run this, it just keeps zooming out and out and out because there's no data in this project. We could just run that a million times and it's just gonna keep getting further and further out. And pretty soon it's hard to tell what's actually happening here. So while this action works in a project that already has media in it, in an empty project when you're just trying to organize things, this action may not work for you. Plus, there's still that problem of being able to zoom in and out with the mouse, and it doesn't actually stop at the end of your content. So let's look in the project settings, file menu, project settings. On the advanced tab, there's this option here, limit project length, stop playback and recording at, and then a uh, uh, time. It's uh, hours, minutes, seconds and milliseconds. So we're gonna enable this. And this is something you need to be aware of. So if you put this on or you set this up in your default template and you record, the way it's set up right now is at 10 minutes. So you cannot record longer than 10 minutes without it stopping automatically. It's just something to be aware of that could be good or bad. If you're recording a podcast, you're probably gonna need at least an hour. And uh, so in that case, you probably want to turn it off. Um, you could set this to something like uh, two hours or three hours. Let's say you forget to stop recording for some reason, and it's just going and going. It's not going to go past three hours. It's not going to fill up your hard drive. So in this project, that is three minutes. I can set this to 10 minutes, enable that. And if we zoom out, it stops just a little bit past 10 minutes. So the visible area is now 13 minutes. So it gives us an extra three minutes. We can still scroll over using the mouse, but uh, zoom out will always snap us back to the visible area. And just to kind of confirm that that is doing the correct thing, we can set this to five minutes. And it gave us about six and a half it gives us a little something extra so that we can we can still work within our project there's still room to grab an item and move it over uh, without having to first scroll things like that you know it's that project length plus a little bit extra and that will work as well on a empty project so this is set at three minutes let's try this at one hour i think that's one hour Hours, minutes, seconds, milliseconds. Let's run that. Zoom out. And it's given us an hour and 16 minutes. I guess one other thing we probably show here is that, say we turn this off. So now there's no limit. I can put in a marker here, or maybe put in an item here and here. And now if I do that zoom to project, are going to have this big gap here. But if we use that option, limit project length to five minutes, now it's going to limit our view to about five minutes. And we can still scroll over and see that other stuff. This function is not something you necessarily need to set up in every project. It's something that maybe you don't want to see everything, including like unused takes or whatever you have elsewhere in the project. I'm waving my arms wildly towards the right. Uh, to show that you have stuff there, and that's not going to come through in the video. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed this video, 
and hope you learned something. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon and visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.